you ever wonder how much feed a Caternix quail goes through to get it up to butcher size and just how much that cost? That's what I'm going to cover in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. In today's video, we're going to discuss how much does it cost and how much feed do you go through to get a, a quail from hatching all the way up to eight weeks old, which is typical butcher size. And I've got uh, my latest grow out pin right here with about I think there's 37 birds in there right now. They're starting to get a little crowded. I'm going to do some separating out today. But these guys are right at six weeks old. And I've been keeping a very close eye on just how much feed they're going through on a daily basis. And as you can imagine, at first, they don't go through much food at all. And then as they grow, they start going through more and more and more and more food. And when they get to about six weeks old, they start eating just about the same amount as an adult Caternix quail, which is just a little over an ounce a day, about an ounce and a half per bird. So what does that mean? Well, to get these guys all the way up from hatching all the way up to eight weeks old to butcher weight, it's going to take about three pounds of food per bird. Now, depending on your food cost, your, your, your prices are going to vary significantly. With my food cost, it's about $12 for a 50-pound bag, and that comes out to about $3 per bird, excuse me, no, about one dollar per bird to get them all the way up to butcher size. And the average bird at butcher size for my jumbo pharaohs, and of course if you have smaller birds it's going to be just a little bit less feed than that, but my jumbo pharaohs average out somewhere around 13 to 14 ounces per bird. So just a little over a dollar per pound of finished meat. That's a pretty good return on, uh, on your feed costs. Let's take you a little bit closer. We'll show you the grow outs right now, what they look like at six weeks old. All right, so like I said, this grow out pen is just getting a little bit crowded right now. And you can see some of these birds are pretty good size for six week old birds. They look like full grown Caternix quail already, but they've still got about two or three weeks before they're gonna hit full grown. Gonna get significantly bigger than this. Um, one thing I will say about your feed costs is it is going to vary significantly depending on what kind of feeder you have, how much feed they waste. These feeders have worked very well for me. It's just a glide container with some holes cut in the sides and I fill it up to about right there. It holds about 40 ounces of feed. I fill it up once a day for these guys and uh, it, it really eliminates the feed waste. Now if you don't have this style of feeder um, and they waste a lot more food, of course your costs are going to go up. All right, so it takes about three pounds of food to get one bird up to butcher size. Now, if you're keeping breeders and you want to keep them past butcher size, how much feed does it take at that point? What I find is that my adult birds eat, like I said, a little over an ounce, about an ounce and a half of feed per day. So really that comes out to about 25 cents a week, something like that, to keep them fed. If you're looking at a $12 per 50 pound bag of feed, you're going to have to do the math on your own, depending on what your feed costs are. Um, but you can kind of assume with a game bird starter, high protein, 28% protein game bird starter, they're going to eat about an ounce and a half a day. These are jumbo pharaoh quail. Now if you've got smaller birds, like standard quail, they're probably going to be a little bit closer to about an ounce of feed per day. But really they're going to average out pretty close to the same. Anywhere between about an ounce to an ounce and a half of feed. And again, that really depends a lot on what type of feeder you have and how much waste you have. But as far as eating, minimal waste, about an ounce and a half a day is what you can expect to feed your birds. All right, guys, I know this was a uh, requested video. Lots of people had questions about that. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you find something different with your birds or if your numbers kind of line up the same with mine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully I got some things cleared up for you. And uh, as always, God bless.